It is uh, mid part of July, uh, 6125M, uh, John Deere. It's getting a bath today, uh, it's kind of raining. We got the first kind of done. Uh, time to give it a bath. Uh, it is a 2015. I bought it new in mid January. So I've had it for six months. It currently has 711 hours on it. I put uh, every one but two of them on there. Uh, and the, so 700 plus hours in six months and the last uh, month um, it has not been used as much. Uh, this is a tractor I bought uh, specifically to feed cattle with uh, and it's been uh, basically hooked to the feed wagon non-stop uh, since then I uh, do use it for a for bale moving or grinding hay uh, but those hours amount to probably a total of, of 15 or 20 uh, so basically we've got uh, 700 hours of feeding cattle in the last uh, five or six months uh, this front wall assist uh, used to use uh, two-wheel drive tractors um, but it's got to be too much to get around and uh, bigger feed wagons uh, feed some cows out on dirt yards and in the spring it becomes a challenge to even get those cows fed with the two-wheel drive tractors uh, so the front wheel assist was kind of a necessity uh, also about new tractors and what have you on YouTube or the internet um, so I'll give you kind of my opinion or what my logic was uh, to supply you a couple videos worth um, just taking a break from uh, cleaning it up uh, I feed a lot of cattle I need a tractor that runs every day um, basically this tractor from October through May uh, will run five or six hours a day and So we need a tractor that runs uh, which was the reason we bought a new one uh, it, it does have a full warranty on it uh, Anything that breaks or whatever they will fix for free granted. Yes uh, We do not have the use of the tractor when it's broke but at least I don't have to be paying for it as well uh, the problem with buying a used tractor is they're basically wore out uh, and for as many hours as we put on them uh, we needed something that was reliable uh, those that watch my channel uh, know what I what I have for other tractors uh, those tractors are all uh, they weren't low houred but they were uh, taking care of tractors, uh, reliable tractors, but even you get six to ten thousand hours on tractors or better, um, they start wearing out, especially if you put a thousand to fifteen hundred hours on them a year, uh, things are gonna happen. But I know I'm rambling a lot and it's uh, probably jumping around and repeat myself but uh, for those who are interested this is the John Deere 6125 M 125 engine horsepower uh, 100 PTO horsepower the, pe the feed wagon it is running is uh, the book says a minimum of 90 uh, the tractor has no problem running it um, so it's matched accordingly uh, the difference between like the one this tractor is, if you go the next size up, it becomes a bigger framed tractor. Uh, so then your maneuverability is uh, less than with this one. Uh, it does have the 38 inch tires on it. Uh, standard, I think, are 34s. Uh, 38s are an option, that's what they have. I'm not exactly sure what's on the front without uh, the 380. 85R 24s. Um, there'll be more videos 
have to come as soon as I get her cleaned up a, a little better because everybody's going to uh, complain about how dirty it is. So, But anyway, uh, the short version is the only problem we've had with it was a the uh, antifreeze uh, reservoir tank uh, leaked uh, when we got it. Uh, they probably fixed it. Uh, and we had it back in a day, uh, which, uh, real short, uh, the reason I have a John Deere is my dealer is five miles away, um, uh, Case and New Holland are the next closest ones, and they are over 20 miles away, um, and I will bet, uh, most people that actually own tractors and pay for them themselves, uh, dealer reliability is the biggest factor and dealer service is the biggest factor in the brands of tractor somebody has um that's uh, why we have a case skid steer we used to have bobcats uh we'll get into that later long enough but, but anyway stay tuned uh subscribe to my channel uh, like if you uh like what i do uh comment if you have questions uh there'll be a couple more videos on the 6125M to come uh, shortly. Thanks for watching.